Over the years, Choco, you've worked at a few footy clubs. But what you mentioned, Melbourne does fifteen minutes every session. Is that uh, do you, in your mind? That's the, that's the, the standard now. Is that what every club sh- that should be doing that for ultimate effectiveness? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Kicking is the key to to winning the game. Uh, you know, so you have to do that. You have to do some competition stuff. You have to be smart, so then you have to do some drills that have some decision making in it. So there's three, and if you can't, and if you can't, uh, if you can't run, you can't play either. So you know you have to have some sort of fitness or or speed. So they are the four things that I think yeah, get people drafted. What well, sorry, what were they, Choco? Kick, run, and kick, run, smarts, and competitive. Win one on ones. Win your own ball. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, you know, when you divide and you think, what am I going to do for training tonight? Make sure you're covering all those things. Yeah. What's what's a decision-making drill people can do when they're just, with, like, with one other person? Yeah, well, that's, that's difficult. And uh, as Ben said, I, I certainly always uh, bring their dad out or their mum out to or the sister, brother, have someone there to help you. But um, in, in the videos, again, if you watch uh, – I, I often use the cricket net so you don't have to kick, go and pick up the ball yeah. um, and uh, have coloured bibs and just get someone to call a bib colour yeah. and hit, hit those things. So uh, that, that's that's good enough um, and you don't have to chase the ball all the time. So, you know, you can do it by yourself and not find an excuse for it. And what about when you get the camera out during training? What are some common mistakes you've seen over the years with footballers? Uh, well... You know, I, I show them the hand on the ball stuff. I show, obviously, when the this sort of ball is dropped, you can see it. It's it's quite easy for players to then get direct feedback, and that's the reason why we use this ball. The players adjust themselves because they go, oh, yeah, I can see it's not up straight, so can I get the ball up straight? Because if the ball's up straight, it spins violently, and then it gets to the target. So uh, some other people, they look up, they want to check their kick. They're not quite confident enough. So they stop and look up. Um, other other people, after they kick, they run off uh, on an angle instead of running towards. You know, if someone's running to the left, you should kick and run to the left as well. And then your hips and the body and the ball all go in the same uh, direction so it doesn't tail off at the end and just fall short and all that sort of stuff. You know, so that, that, that's mainly it. Uh, I, honestly, there's only about four or five things that people do wrong uh, and not look like they do them all wrong, but... There's one of those four or five things, and if you can fix those things and they are aware of it, uh, but kicking is not easy and it takes a long time. And don't think if you listen tonight, you've got it fixed or you go out and practice it for a week, it, it won't work. It'll come back. You need to be very, very consistent with it, and it's not an easy skill. Last one. Choco, you, you, you mentioned you've given feedback with players during their training session. You've showed them the video and they're now aware of an area that they're working on and are they doing are they just focusing on that at their next training session or do you give them craft drills that they're supposed to do on their own time how does it look well i have those uh, little balls that you know uh, size one i don't know people probably know but um adult males are size five and females are size four so you can get size one so size balls it's a lot easier for people to hang on to it uh, makes them really have to attend to it, and it's uh, it's another drill that uh, kind of interests the players that are pretty good. They want to be really good at a small ball as well, uh, so all all of those things are good. It might be uh, kicking a tennis ball on a on a string so that uh, you get a consistent hit on the same spot on your foot. Uh, it might be kick the ball and spin it in the air as you walk along. I don't know. There's a there's a whole lot of different things, but. Um, if you're poor at something, you have to go backwards. You can't just keep going. You need to stop it and say, right, I'm going to practice this way, way, way over the top so that uh, it becomes, um, you know, a natural thing and something that's, uh, you know, relearned. So you have to really dump what you know and relearn again. That's what happens.